All praise to the Most High, the ever-present Creator, the Creator of the cosmos and all that exists, Yahuwah, for another day, another chance to get it right. Today's morning matter is coming out the Gospel of the Nazarenes, chapter 46. And if you're familiar with the biblical text, the transfiguration on the mountain, the giving of the law, this is it from a Nazarene perspective, a Nazarene school of thought in which Yeshua was a Nazarene. And not because he was from Nazareth, but Nazareth is the place where the Nazir and the Essene dwelt. And that's where you get Nazarene from. Nazir, Yesin. Nazarene. So the Gospel of the Nazarenes, chapter 46, the transfiguration on the mount, the giving of the law. After six days, when the Feast of Tabernacle was nigh, Yeshua took the twelve and brought them up to a high mountain. And as he was praying, the fashion of his countenance was changed, and he was transfigured before them. His face did shine as the sun, and his raiment was white as the light. And behold, there appeared to them Moses and Elijah talking with him and speaking of the law and of his purpose, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. And Moses spoke, saying, this is he of whom I foretold, saying, a prophet from the midst of the brethren like unto me shall the eternal send to you. And that which the eternal speaks to him shall he speak to you and to him shall you listen. And whoso will not obey shall bring upon themselves their own doom. Then Peter said to Yeshua, Rabbi, is it good for us to be here? If you will, let us make here three tabernacles, one for you and one for Moses and one for Elijah. And while he yet spoke, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them and 12 rays as of the sun issued from behind the cloud. And a voice came out of the cloud, which said, this is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. And when the disciples heard it, they fell on their faces and were greatly amazed. And Yeshua came and touched them and said, Arise, and be not afraid. And when they had lifted up their eyes, they saw no man except Yeshua only. And six glories were seen upon him. And Yeshua said to them, Behold, a new law I give to you which is not new, but old. Even as Moses gave the Ten Commandments to Israel after the flesh, so also I restore them to you for the kingdom of the true Israel after the Spirit. For who are of the true Israel? Even they of every nation and tribe who work righteousness, love, and have mercy, and keep the commandments of the law. These are the true Israel. And standing, Yeshua spoke, saying, Hear, O Israel, the master creator is one. Many are my seers and my prophets. In me all live and move and have substance. Ye shall worship the one eternal unbegotten master creator of whom all things are made. Ye shall not take away the life of any creature, nor yet torment it. Ye shall cherish and protect the weak, the oppressed, and all creatures that suffer wrong. Ye shall not eat the flesh, nor drink the blood of any slaughtered creature, nor yet anything which brings disorder to your health or senses. Ye shall eat the fruits and herbs of the earth, and working in the law, live long in the land. Ye shall not make impure marriages where love and health are not, nor yet corrupt, corrupt yourselves or any creature. You shall revere your fathers and mothers and all the teachers of righteousness. Ye shall not bear false witness against, nor willfully deceive any, nor yet covet or steal their goods. Ye shall purify yourselves daily and rest the seventh day. Ye shall not do unto others as ye would that others should not do unto you. And when the disciples heard these words, they smote upon their breasts, saying, Wherein we have offended, O Master, forgive us. 
And may thy wisdom, love, and truth within us incline our hearts to love and keep this holy law. And Yeshua said to them, my yoke is equal and my burden light. If ye will to bear it, to you it will be easy. Lay no other burden on those that enter into the kingdom, but only these necessary things. This is the new law to the true Israel, and the law is within. For it is the law of love, and is not new but old. Take heed that you add nothing to this law, neither take anything from it. Verily I say to you, they who believe and obey this law shall be saved, and they who know and obey it not shall be lost. But as in Adam all die, so in the Holy Spirit shall all be made alive. And the disobedient shall be purged through many fires, and they who persist shall descend and shall perish eternally. And as they came down from the mountain, Yeshua charged them, saying, Tell the vision to no man until the Son of Man be risen again from among them that sleep. His disciples asked him, saying, Why then say the scribes that Elijah must first come? And Yeshua answered and said to them, Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. But I say to you that Elijah has come already, and they knew him not but have done to him whatsoever they would. Likewise shall also the Son of Man suffer them. Then the disciples understood that he spoke to them of John the Baptist. All praise to the Most High. That concludes the midday manna from the Gospel of the Nazarenes, chapter 46, the Transfiguration on the Mount. I pray that it blesses somebody this day. Take heed to those laws that were given. For it's not a new law, but it's old. Those were the laws that were given in the original, in the, in, in, in the beginning. Go back and replay it. Take heed to them laws right there. Because those are the laws, and this is the gospel that hasn't reached the four corners, that will and that will shake everything up. Believe that. But until next time, y'all have, I, I ask that the Most High blesses you all abundantly. And until next time, I bid y'all shalom.